folks have had a subscriber and a really good friend um, send me an email, and he is going to be doing a product review for a company that makes uh, GoPro uh, peripheral products. And so he asked a little bit of my advice. I'm going to read just a little bit of his email here. He says um, the company has contacted him, uh, gave him his address, and it, it, he wants to do an honest review. He says they asked for it, so they'll get it. Uh, he says, can you give me any insight into doing a professional review? Do you normally keep the stuff they send, or do you send it back or to another reviewer? Uh, any help would be uh, gratefully received. Uh, and so... I sent him back an email, and I gave him a little bit of my advice. I thought, well, this might be useful to other people. First of all, if you are approached by a company that wants you to give a review for one of their products, I think that's awesome. That's amazing. It started happening to me about a year ago. I guess a lot of people had seen my GoPro videos and starting to get some traffic there. And so they thought, well, you know, we could sell our GoPro products, uh, peripheral products. And it's, it's segued into a number of different things that people sent me, and and I decided I had to set some ground rules for myself. So I'm going to recommend these ground rules maybe to you too. And maybe those of you who do reviews can chime in and tell me how you handle this sort of thing. First of all, I don't ever want to compromise uh, my principles or become a ad man or a you know, product hawker online. Uh, usually when these, you know, in other words, I don't want to feel beholden to a company because they send me something for free and think that I have to give them some glow and review or anything. They usually do send it for, to you for free. You don't usually have to send it back at all. I've never been asked to send anything back and I've received some really nice stuff and usually I very much like it. I, you know, my policy that I kind of set up front, uh, was, and I said, you know, if I really like your product, I'll give it a good review and I'll put it out there. I'll tell what I really think about it. I'll talk about build, construction, quality. You know, is it a flexible product in that? Can it be used for a number of different things? Is it something I really like? I'm really going to use out in the real world. And uh, if I don't like it, I'll probably just keep my mouth shut. Now, uh, you, you might say, Tony, that's not fair. You should, if it's a bad product, you should. You should really let us know it's a bad product. Well, yeah, you know, fortunately, I've not received bad products. Almost everyone has given me really good quality stuff. Some I like better than others. Some I see more use for than others. And so I really give those people that I really, really like their thing a very glowing review because it deserves it. But, you know, if, if I get something that's just a bad product, my policy is going to be I'm not going to trash them. I don't want to, like, hurt their business and, you know, if, if you're seen as trashing stuff in reviews, then other reviewers aren't going to send you stuff. So, you know, there's somewhat of a self-serving purpose there. But if there's something I really don't like, uh, so far I've not, I've not encountered it, but I probably will just say, you know, that thanks for sending that, but I, I don't really think you want me to do a review on this. A uh, couple things I will say about this is it's always good to just like your video well. Um, like I always use a separate microphone when I shoot my video because if you're handling stuff and you know you're making racket and stuff, I try to put a little mic or something up here. I use one of these little guys a lot. Right now I've got a Zoom H2 in front of me that I'm recording. You're not hearing the audio off the Hero 3 that I'm recording this with. You're hearing uh, the audio off of a Zoom microphone, which I have right down here in front of me. So I always try to mic myself up so you can understand everything really well. I try to know the product. Well, first of all, I do unbox it, and I try to get the unboxing experience exactly as it is, just as I'm opening it up. What do I think of it? Is it packed well? Uh, you know, what does the packaging look like? How do you receive it? Uh, you know, I give my first impressions. I like that. That's kind of the discovery thing that a lot of people like to watch. Uh, so sometimes I do the unboxing video separately. Separately, usually I do it together. And then I move on to, you know, how is this product used? I try to go out in the field and do some stuff with it. And I try to know exactly everything it will do, so the ins and outs. Uh, one time uh, I did a review just recently on a guitar stand, and I mentioned this in my email to my friend, and uh, did the whole review and didn't realize I wasn't extending it the whole way. It's a, it was a folding collapsible guitar stand. And I felt like an idiot because I did this whole review and posted it and hadn't really fully extended it the whole way. So be sure you know the product and you've really checked it out top to bottom. Um, 
and you know make make sure that that you uh, are really giving them a fair shake and representing their product well. As far as length of the video goes, I usually try to do a couple of videos and try to shoot them both at the same time. Most of the time, these people who want a product review, they want an Amazon review, an Amazon video review that you'll put online, or at least a good written one on Amazon. They really love the video reviews, though, on Amazon. And I think Amazon, as of uh, October of 2014, limits you to 100 megs. So you want to keep that video to probably three, four, maybe five minutes. <clears throat> and if you're going to keep it in high def, I usually uh, export that video down to 720p uh, because, I, because I can usually fit, say, three or four or five minutes into 720p at roughly 24 frames per second or 30 um, and it will fit into that 100 meg format. So then the, I do a YouTube video simultaneously usually in the YouTube video, since it can be longer and it can be higher definition, I usually make it longer. I'm a little long winded. I'm sorry about this video here. It's probably a little long, but I'm, I try to be thorough. I try to be very thorough with the YouTube video. I try to give highlights as best I can in the Amazon video. And I try not to, uh, mention YouTube in the Amazon version. So a lot of times uh, I'll be talking about the product. I, I realized this, that I was messing up some uh, in my early reviews because I'd say, uh, when you see this on my YouTube, you know, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this. You know, you put a thing at the end, a teaser at the end or a promotional thing at the end. They don't want to see that on Amazon. They just want you talking about the product. So uh, be mindful of that as you're doing your product review, uh, particularly since they really value the Amazon video. They realize that if a, a purchaser is watching the Amazon review uh, and seeing the video, they're likely to click buy. So that's why they like having that Amazon video so much. I have really built some nice relationships through doing reviews. Uh, some of the products I totally awesomely believe in. So I'm a big uh, endorser now. I love the Sandmark stuff. My GoPro I got from them. I love the Wasabi batteries. Primo products. I love the camera uh, handles and stuff that I was sent to attach to my GoPros. Really super comfortable. Um, like I say, almost everything I've been sent so far has been good quality, but those are the ones that really shine in, in my book. So, yeah. Hopefully, if you've been honored to, uh, if someone respects your channel enough, respects your opinions enough to send you products, that is fantastic. Uh, you know, folks, go have fun. It's, it's a cool way to get some free stuff. It's a cool way to promote businesses that are worthy of uh, getting more business and products that really are good that other people find useful. Like I say, just be true. In all things, be true. And um, people will respect that. Your, your YouTube subscribers, it, you know, products, uh, product reviews help your YouTube standings as well. And I've, I think I've gotten a lot of uh, subscribers, which, man, I super value and appreciate that. And I think a lot of them have come through reviews and opinion-type videos. Folks, I hope this helps. I know I've been a bit lengthy. Uh, please do share your opinions. If you do product reviews, give us your tips about things that you try to do as you uh, do your review, I, I say in the end, know your product before you do your final review. Do the unboxing. Go out and learn it. Know everything it will do. Do your review. Make sure it looks good, framed up right, good lighting, and good audio. That's all I know to say, folks. Peace and thanks for watching.